also with us, by the way, Allison Treasel, uh, attorney. Uh, Allison, good to have you back, by the way. Weigh in on this. Not only what you heard from Samuels, but the importance on what he could or could not say concerning a crime scene and what he can decipher from it. Yeah, it's absolutely critical. And of course, the defense wants this in. Because if he can establish through the madness of the crime scene and how chaotic it was that this was not premeditated, that's a second. And she's going home at some point. She's not spending the rest of her life in prison and there is no death penalty. So it is critical for them. However, this is really unusual that they would allow an expert to look at a crime scene and determine what level of culpability lies there. That's really for the jury to determine. Allison, do you see this expert? How important is his testimony? Is it make or break for Jody Arias, what Richard Samuels can bring to the table? No, I think ultimately the 19 days of Jody Arias' testimony is what will hinge and determine this case, whether or not they believed her. But it is very important, and he may not be able to make the ultimate decision, but what the prosecutor has got to object to is him floating it out there so that now the jury has in their mind that this was a chaotic scene, it was a reactive scene, therefore it mu she must not have premeditated the crime. And I think that's where the prosecution is going to say, no way, this is not allowed. Gene, how do you see it when, when you look at this and the importance of Dr. Samuels? And you know what could be more damning if you're really looking into it, and I'm reading the terminology here, you made a custody recommendation without examining the mother. Now, Allison, weigh in on this. Is this a big deal to you? Is his credibility come into question because of this or not? Right. I read it last night, too, and there were a couple things that really stood out to me. First of all, he was never sanctioned or suspended. He, his license remained intact. He was fined and he was ordered to take a class. Um, but the real question, and Mike, you hit on it, is he did not do a thorough job in writing this report. He did not look at all the evidence. He did not interview all the participants. And if this judge allows Juan Martinez to question him about that, Juan Martinez is certain to hone in on that, that he prepared a one-sided biased report without getting all the information. And did he in fact do that in this case, but and only relied on a known liar who had lied to him while she was being interviewed? We were supposed to be in court at this point. We were supposed to be watching a legal fight play out. And at issue is basically what can Dr. Richard Samuels say? He's the defense expert. He's a forensic clinical psychologist. He's worked with Jody Arias. He's testifying for the defense. But one of the fights that's going to play out here is what he can say about observing a crime scene or looking at the characteristics of a crime scene and being able to say whether or not uh, it's more likely that it was a premeditated uh, event or it was a heat of passion type of event. Uh, we've got great experts lined up. Let's go to Allison Treasel, a defense attorney. Allison, as you look at this and you and you hear that framing of that argument, should Dr. Samuels be able to talk about that or not? Well, I think the prosecution is going to fight as hard as it can to keep that out because essentially he's trying to tell this jury this was not premeditated. This was a heat of passion. Therefore, Jody Arias should not get the death penalty. This should not be a first degree murder. It should be a second, which would mean that Jody Arias would be out and in some point in the future. Let's bring in Allison Treese to get her reaction as we look at this. You know, and she goes into that Hanson. I'm sure many viewers are wondering, wait a minute, what about the broken, bent up finger as well? But Allison, your thoughts. Well, first of all, the behavior is really bizarro. But what I'm most interested in is the statement that she makes that is so narcissistic where she says, I really should have had my makeup done. Jesus, Jody, I should have put my makeup on. I'd love to know what the doc thinks of that. At, let's bring Allison Treasel back as we yell, there's Jody, full handstand there. She was, she was humming a little bit, complaining she didn't have the makeup, giggling. I mean, what do you make of it, Allison, as we watch it again? 
Well, the more I look at it, the more I think that she is, it's almost like this is not in a reality. It's like a TV mm. show to her that she has got to have full makeup on and she's giggling. This woman could be sentenced to death for what she's done and she's giggling. So either she doesn't recognize the enormity of it or she just, I mean, I need my makeup. That's not a normal reaction from someone who's just been charged with murder. And there's the booking photo that Beth was talking about, the smile. And again, her explanation was, well, I know Travis would have wanted me to smile or he would have smiled. So uh, that was her explanation of that. Before the break, as we're taking your calls, Ann asked basically, why are you bringing a knife to a gunfight? Uh, Allison Treasel's with us. And that's one of the points from the defense. If she had planned to kill him and had a gun, why are you messing around with a knife? You just shoot him and that's that. Right. One of the best... One of the best questions that was asked of me is, if she simply premeditated this, she had a gun, why didn't she knock on the door, he opens it, she shoots him in the head, and she leaves? Why all this other dramatic, dramatic, I mean, this crime scene was really brutal. And the prosecution's answer, of course, is going to be because there was rage and hate and anger there. And there was, as that woman just described, overkill because she was so jealous and angry that he had ended this relationship. So, you know, that that's really the burning right. question in this case. Absolutely. All right, let's get to the phones again. Carol's with us in Florida. 